Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about what happens during initialization and destroy of a bean in spring. When a bean is instantiated, it may be necessary to perform some initialization to get bean into usable state. Likewise, when the bean is no longer needed and is removed from the container, some cleanup is required to accommodate the setup and tear down of beans. Spring provides hooks into the bean life cycle. You know that spring container ma maintains and manages the complete life cycle of a bean. But if you want to do any user specific things, spring provides hooks. Hooks is nothing but they give you an opportunity to do something. They'll call you, uh, they'll, they'll call the callback methods. You do whatever you want. Like we have init methods, we have init methods and destroy methods. To have setup and tear down for a bean, simply declare the bean with init method and destroy method parameters. The init method attributes specify a method that is to be called on the bean immediately after the instantiation. The moment the bean is created by the spring container, it, this method will be called. Boss, I have, I'm going to create the method, I'm going to create the bean. This is the init method I've called. Please do whatever you want. It's like a hook method, okay? The destroy method specifies a method that is called just before a bean is removed from the container. Boss, I have removed the uh, removed the bean from the container and this is the hook method I've called. Do whatever you want to do. It's like an opportunity to clean up or whatever you want to do. It's like user specific uh, things you can do in the destroy method. How do I do it? How do I configure it? Say for example, bean id office I have okay and this is the package name and init methods init methods swipe access card in and destroy method swipe access card out so before uh, after the the object is created i want to call this method and after the office bean is removed from the container i want to call this method initializing bean and disposable bean this is not the only way to call the init method and destroy method there is another way an optional way to define init and destroy methods for a bean is to write the bean class to implement springs initializing bean and display disposable bean interfaces there are two interfaces you can implement this initialization bean declares an after property set method that serves as the init method it is similar to the init method okay for as for disposable bean it declares destroy method that gets it gets called when a bean is removed from the application context so these two methods will be called the only thing you have to do is implement these interfaces the main benefit of using these lifecycle interfaces is that spring container can automatically detect beans that implement without without any external XML configuration here we have used XML external configuration but if you want to avoid this external configuration you can implement these two interfaces the only problem we have is you will have a couple you are you are coupling your application to the springs api that we don't want to do it okay it's like it will check whether the spring bean uh, implement this interface or not it will find out so there are a lot of coupling between your application code and the spring application code this we should avoid okay i've talked about initialization, initialization and destroy of a bean like init method and destroy method it's like these two are hook method Okay, hope this video is useful for your interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.